guys what's up it's Anna welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome so I just thought of an idea for a video I don't know if it's gonna go well also it's like really bright right now and I can't really use my eyeballs so I had an idea to do a one room only photo shoot challenge because I feel like that'd be kind of interesting it's like a different take on like the ugly location photo shoot challenge but I'm gonna make the rules to be that you only can stay in one confined room, so like your bedroom, that's what I'm gonna do. I can only stay in my bedroom and use things that I have in my bedroom for this photo shoot. I mean, it's like, I can use my clothes, I can use whatever I want, as long as it turns into like a good Instagram worthy photo. So we're gonna try that and see if this is a good idea or a fail. Also, I've never seen this done before. So if somebody has done it, I'm sorry, but I stole your idea unintentionally. Here we go. Okay, so I'm picking out an outfit right now and <coughs> I've been sick for a month. Love that for me. I'm thinking Maybe like an oversized sweater. I'm gonna try to do like a very different angle in my room. Maybe some, I'd say like thigh high socks, but I don't have any of those. So I'm gonna either have to use fluffy socks or tights. I think they'd both be cute. So we're gonna do that and I'm gonna change. Okay, and here's the after. I'm wearing this like turtleneck sweater that I got from American Eagle. And then I put tights on and I only like pulled them up to my knees. I'm gonna try to angle the camera right so it kind of looks like they're just knee-high socks in the bed okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take the picture now and kind of show you guys how i'm gonna do it and then i'm gonna take the picture because i have to use my phone for both okay so here's my idea um <laughs> don't know how i'm gonna do this without flashing you guys okay so i'm gonna sit up here like this this is probably an absolutely horrible idea so we're gonna try something like that kind of i think we got it so now I'm gonna change my outfit and we're gonna take a different one. So the first one looks like this. And this was the one that I kind of, I sat on the headboard of my bed. And I like this picture. I think it was very simple and cute. It's not my favorite, but I, I like it. There's like nothing wrong with it. I do like it. It just isn't my favorite out of all the ones that I took today. So this is the first picture. I really like the outfit. This is the next look. So I'm wearing these like high-waisted pants that I have. Actually, these are super cute. Too bad I got them dirty like a while ago. I think I'm gonna turn them into ripped jeans because there's like spots all over them. So then this is a long gray shirt, but I tucked it up like under my bra so that it looks like a crop top. Actually in the back it's not, it's just like there, but it's fine. I think I'm gonna take this picture on my pink chair that's in my room. I think that'd be super cute because like contrasting. So we're gonna try that. Okay, so this is the chair. I have clothes on it right now, so I'm gonna take those off. I don't know how I want to do this. I don't know if I want to like sit or if I want to do something like this and like holding it, but like up and down. So we're gonna try something cute. Okay guys, so we got the picture. I'm gonna change into another outfit. I'm excited. I'm actually really having fun with this. These pictures are turning out really cute. The next one is these ones. I think there's two here. Um, I really liked both of these pictures. I like these two pictures because I'm like smiling and happy and I don't really smile in a lot of pictures, but for this kind of look, it really just worked and I really like it. I really really like these pictures. I also like the contrast between like the blue and gray with the pink. I think that looks really nice as well. Then there are these two pictures on top of those ones. I didn't know which one I liked more because one of them I'm smiling, holding the pillow in front, and then the other one I look more serious. I liked both of them. I just couldn't tell which one I liked more. So obviously I feel like this look kind of won in the fact that I had a lot that I liked. I'm actually gonna fix my hair because I'm thinking for this one, I want a very like sleek look, pulled back, low pony maybe, or low bun. I don't know. This is actually going a lot better than I expected, so we're going to pull back my hair. Oh, we love a sleek queen. My mom just walked in. 
I'm just standing there in high heels, a black dress, holding a tripod. <laughs> so my hair is back. I look real funky, but I'm gonna try to look all like sexy. I'm thinking kind of Ariana Grande with like a black stool. I'm gonna try to sit on it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna try to do something fun. That was a workout and a half. Oh my goodness, I was standing on this chair in like four inch heels. You guys, I hope they turned out. I think they did and I'm kind of excited because that's like a different, it's very different and I'm kind of excited. Then there's these two. Uh, I really like the one where I'm standing. I took a black stool and I put on black heels and a black dress and I put my hair back into the sleek bun with like a black scrunchie which is still on my wrist and didn't know if this was gonna work and also it was a workout getting up there in heels like i stood on a stool in heels also i'm surprised that the the, the stool didn't break because i really thought it would but it didn't and i also didn't break an ankle even though i thought i would or my neck but i think it's an interesting photo i've never seen anything like this done i thought it was kind of an I just thought it was an interesting idea and I think it turned out pretty cute and I kind of I honestly kind of dig it I think it's a dope picture this one wasn't something I thought I would really like because like my thighs are showing and I felt like it would look kind of weird because also I'm not very tan but it looked kind of weird so I added like a super grain effect because I thought that muted that and also looked more like old style like very um retro old school like grandma's album i don't know i loved it so much i thought it was very cute and they look very simplistic and i love it so there's those two okay guys so i put a red lipstick on i put my hair in a ponytail i'm wearing this it's more it's a sweatshirt and it has like gingham plaid i don't know on the words and it just seems very like high school but like back then and very retro i put a yellow scrunchie on my wrist i'm going to actually write on my mirror with red lipstick. I think that'd be so cute. I'm gonna write something like, you're beautiful XOXO or something cute like that so that I can kind of blur it out but people can see it when I post it on Instagram and it'll be all cute. I'm gonna do that quick while my phone charges a little bit more because it died <laughs> and I'll be back. Okay, I did it, it looks really cute. Now I'm gonna try to take the picture and see if it turns out. Okay guys, so I finished that picture. I'm actually gonna leave this up here because I think it's really cute and it's not like I need this whole mirror to get ready anyway so i'm gonna put up all my other little notes that i put around it i have like one that is telling me to be healthy and to work out this is what i read to myself like every morning when i get ready you guys should like screenshot this and read it to yourselves too yesterday my aunt actually gave me a bunch of cute little notes so i'm gonna keep these up here too so leaving this up here i midway through uh, taking those pictures, I was like, oh my goodness, what if the words are backwards? So then I had to check and thank goodness they weren't because I seriously thought they were going to be flip-flopped. But it worked out for me. I have this picture of Ollie that I'm going to keep here. And then I have a picture of Mary Ellen <laughs> that I keep over here because hashtag friendship goals, you know? Okay, so now I'm going to sit down with you guys and we're going to go through the pictures. Actually, I have to edit them first. So I'm going to edit them and then we're going to go through the pictures. And the last one, this one I love so much because I think it just has a really good message and it is this one. And I had two of them actually, but I'm gonna just pick one because they're pretty similar. I love this, I love the lipstick. <laughs> it says you are beautiful XOXO with like a little kissy mark. And I, I just love this picture so much. I love the vibe, it's very retro. Still wearing the outfit, hello. And if you guys can tell, I kind of like that style. I like that it's like with these last two pictures, I like the simplistic slash retro old school vibe. I think it's very cute, positive message. So I'm gonna be posting both of those on my, I'm gonna post all of them on my Instagram because I love them all so much. I hope I start a trend to be honest because this was actually so fun. I think you guys should, should definitely try it or like go on to some YouTuber you like and tell them to do this challenge because it's honestly so fun. It is kind of a challenge, like finding things in your living space, your bedroom that you can use to take really dope pictures. And I didn't know if I was gonna do good on this. It's kind of just all about finding angles and finding cute outfits and stuff like that. You guys should tell people about this challenge because I think it was actually very fun. And I usually don't like any of my video ideas, but this one I'm actually feeling pretty confident on. I think it was lots of fun and I have some cute Instagram pictures. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below what you want to see next and don't forget to subscribe and become part of our family I love you all so so much thank you for supporting me and I'll see you in the next video bye guys